briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court dealt with an intense constitutional conundrum in the 1951 case, Dennis v. United States, balancing free speech and national security. The case targeted leaders of the Communist Party charged with violating the Smith Act. The government accused them of advocating the violent overthrow of the U.S. government, a crime that, not surprisingly, carries severe penalties. But the amplitude of the accusation relied heavily on interpretation of the accused's intent, a cornerstone of the legal dispute. The legal vortex began to whirl when the Court of Appeals affirmed the lower court's convictions. The appeals court agreed that the Communist Party leaders indeed intended to incite forceful state upheaval, an act punishable under the Smith Act. Increased scrutiny of the Smith Act, however, raised questions ready for Supreme Court intervention. Was the act targeting advocacy or mere discussion? Could traditional free discourse on political theories be obliterated under the act's shadow? More importantly, was the free speech First Amendment protective umbrella large enough to cover the accused leaders, or would their actions be deemed a clear and present danger? The Smith Act, designed to punish those advocating or organizing the forceful or violent overthrow of the government, had thus gripped the teeth of the First Amendment and was holding on tightly. Ultimately, the Supreme Court upheld the original convictions. It asserted that the intent to organize a Communist Party intent on overthrowing the government indeed posed a clear and present danger. Echoing this belief, the Supreme Court acknowledged that free speech is vital, but not absolute, that societal values and considerations may require its limitation. The court promised rigorous constitutional review of convictions when doubts about defendant intent or actions pervade legal ambiguity, underlining the importance of scrupulous care in balancing constitutional provisions with statutory demands. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.